Hi and welcome to part 3 of our AkiCAD 24 floor plan tutorial. We continue with the developing the plan and right now we are working on the kitchen area. And as discussed in the last video, we have ag we had agreed that we need a worktop for the kitchen area. We need a place for the sink where we will be washing the utensils and a cook pit where we will be cooking our food so this 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 worktop is going to cover the to cover the entire of uh, this area it's going to be an inverted l shape and from the wall going to be 600 millimeters uh, of uh, 600 millimeters from this wall. So we're using a line. I'll be able to now mark where 600 millimeters is. Then I can uh, draw this. So that's where my worktop is going to reach. I'll also want to have it here. 600. Then it will move and join the other side. Well, if I take this and this line and intersect them. I need to change the color to that one. And I'll move this by a bit, let's say 150 millimeters. And have it as pen number one. So let me move this to that point. So as you can see, we are having a wall that is separating the kitchen from the dining area. I want this wall to just be an half wall, moving moving from, uh, I mean, there, is, there will be an opening here, then the wall will extend from this point to this other point. And I want us to have a, a half wall, eh? the ones that are called dwarf walls, so that when you are in the kitchen, you are able to see the other area. So what we'll do is we select this wall and use this split tool and split it. Then we we'll adjust this wall now to to that so that we have an opening, and this opening reaches that point. Do away with this line. So when the opening is reaching that point. We need to select this wall, go to the settings dialog for the wall, this is wall selection settings, and change this height to 900, that's 0 0.9 meters, and click OK. You will see something has changed, and that's how I want it to appear. So as earlier discussed, we are going to have a sink. For the kitchen put near this window so what do we do we go to design architectural tools object and uh, object selection uh, object default settings uh, we have the search bar we'll be able to search for sync and i want to use this type of a uh, sync this one which is cabinet based triple door 24. Override all the settings. Click OK. And then place it here. Select Control D. Should move up to that point. drag this select so we have uh, now this uh, this is our sink kitchen sink this is where we'll be washing our utensils and we have a view to the outside yeah, this is the view through the window overlooking the kitchen yard which serves as a, a rear porch for the for the house so in this other point here, we will have a, 
a cook pit so such cook pit and we have a built in 24 i select that place it here and move by rotating so rotate it to face that area and then adjust it to fit be cooking from this point so i want us to be cooking from this point so if you look at it now we have a complete kitchen we have a worktop for preparing our ingredients we have a cook pit where we will be cooking our food placing the the the, the pot here or the sofrias and we have a kitchen sink where we will be washing our dirty utensils from there we go to the dining area and the dining area has a dining table and some chairs so this is found under furniture layouts so we go back to that in uh, the settings I want to click on this folder view subtype and look for kitchen no not kitchen cabinet but look for we are looking for what we are looking for furniture furniture for the sitting room rather for the dining room we have we have cabinets and shelves we have chairs couches furniture layouts yeah that's it and then we will select this one dining table rectangle place it there select move by dragging and uh, place it in a good position like i want it to be placed there and just to move closer to the external wall now also adjust this text to that point so we have our dining area in place so the next is a uh, furniture for the lounge and furniture for the lounge so we get back to design tracker tools object object default settings furniture for the lounge now we want to have what we we'll have a table and some sofa sets so let's go to tables tables we have a we can use which table here we can have the designer table place it here go back we look for for some other furniture couches and sofas and there is this sofa sofa let's take this 24 we we'll love that then we we'll love a uh, just a small one just a small seat let's say we take this sofa chair 05 and have it here so we need to now arrange this well so drag this to fit inside the the, the house let's say we have it at that point then we mirror a copy of that right click move select mirror copy from that point to that so that we have a we have that then we'll be able to select this uh, sorry right click move rotate rotate it to face to face that way then move it to the inside 
can bring our table at the center here. I can also be able to adjust this text, let's say to that point. So if you look at uh, our plan now, which is uh, very complete now, let me just zoom in, fit in or out, expand the, the view. So you're able to see we have our rooms in place, we have all the furniture that we require, We've labeled them with the doors and windows. So before now we end the video, and I want to show you how to put dimensions in place. So the dimensions are part of uh, documenting tools. So we activate that by going up here under document, documenting tools. We'll uh, choose dimension. Then go to the settings dialog, which is the di dimensions default settings for this. We will choose this custom height as the witness line. And we'll have um, these pens selected. I want to have the font as Montserrat. You can see that anywhere. Scroll down, that's in place, and this to be 1.6, this, this within the line, and uh, 46, 46, I think that's okay, click okay. And the first line of dimensions is usually for marking the openings. Like I'll just click on where we have the openings. This and the other one. And I will have that placed there. The next will be for the thickness of the walls. And the very last one is for the overall dimension. So that's it. You can be able to select them and move them away from, yeah, move them to a point like that. So in the case where you find that you have put a dimension, and we are having something like this, 959. And all we want is to have uh, some all numbers. Eh? You can do, you can, you can adjust this by, let's say you can move this wall or this uh, window from uh, this point to, let's move by 41. And you have this adjusted, well, fitting well can also be able to adjust this by this 49 and you have the dimensions now appearing correctly so that's how to to to, to put dimensions and i hope you you will be able now to work on the other ones like let's say internal dimensions for these spaces and place it at a point like that you will also need to put in place dimensions for this that's to show the the the, the sizes of, of of these rooms internal sizes eh? You can also move that to this point. You can have such a dimension. So it's, it's really something that is very easy. Something that you can be able to do. And I hope up to this far, you are now able to create a floor plan in Archicad from uh, scratch. Put 
your walls, your windows and doors, your furniture, text, and annotations, and dimensions in place, and be done. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please give it a thumbs up like it if you like it and also i'm requesting you to consider subscribing to this youtube channel it helps me grow the community and helps me know that i'm making tutorials that people love watching thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next video cheers